Hi, my name is Ella Simmons and I'm an elementary education major at online at Grand Canyon University. The purpose of this video is to explain what I think my strengths and weaknesses are um, for the dispositions after doing the self-reflection assessment and watching through all the videos and learning about what the dispositions are and how they are important in our career as educators in the future. Um, after going through the self-assessment and watching the videos, I learned that I have certain dispositions that I feel very strong in and other dispositions that I don't feel as strong in. Some of the dispositions that I possess that I think will help me be a good educator are fairness, um, respect for the diversity of others, reflection, curiosity, honesty, compassion, and dedication. These are things that I've seen help me be successful in other areas of my life and I think that it will also help me be a good educator. For the reflection part, I think this assignment is very helpful to help us learn more about reflection and it's something that I've gotten a little deeper into um, in my adult life is reflecting on my strengths and weaknesses and if I also bring that into the classroom that will help me in that way. For dedication, I think it is very important to be dedicated to um, everything that we're doing in our lives and especially our career in the future. As educators, it's important to be dedicated to your job and to your students. It's also important to have compassion and honesty in your classroom. As an educator and a future teacher, if we do not have compassion, it will be hard for a lot of the children that are going through things to be comfortable with us and open up about certain things. And if we are also not honest, then we will not be able to expect them to be honest with us. Curiosity is something that I think we really need to encourage in the classrooms. When we are allowing students to be curious and ask questions, it's helping them learn and helping them grow in that way. There are also dispositions that I do believe I need to work on in order to step into the classroom as a first time teacher. Some of those are high expectations, professional conduct, and advocacy. High High expectations will be one that I um, will need to navigate as I get more comfortable in the teaching position because I will need to learn how to gauge what students are on what level and what they need from me and how best to put them and place them in the classroom and assignments. Professional conduct is one that I will also need to work on just because I will need to learn in what ways to deal with certain situations and um, in what ways to conduct myself in that setting, in that type of teaching setting. Advocacy is also one that I can work on just by finding the right ways to advocate for my students and um, for the school to be a better environment for the kids. The qualities that I believe professional educators need to display is all of these dispositions. I think it would, I know that there, everyone has strengths and weaknesses and you're, most people aren't gonna have all 10 of these dispositions, but working towards that would be a good goal for educators and profess, professionals to display and work on, work towards. Some of the main um, qualities that I think educators should have is compassion, dedication, and advocacy, and also professional conduct so that you are displaying yourself in a professional way.